that bias that I put you later? When we first decided that he wanted to make make a run at skating again, we had we took a trip to Japan for a four star tour. That was the first time we had skated, you know, together. And it was less of me skating and more watching him because I hadn't seen him skate live in years, you know. So I was just fanning out in Japan, you know, sitting on the uh, on the ledge watching him skate the ledge. You know, it was more of that than anything. I think that trip to Japan was kind of, you know, testing the waters, you know. Um, in terms of like being back in that lifestyle, being back in that environment, you know, and I think there was there was like a real level of fear because the recovery process was so important to him. He didn't want to jeopardize that. Obviously, traveling out out of the country is a big deal, you know, and it kind of like isolates you from your routine at home. And his routine at home was recovery. Ultimately, it led Guy back on on his board, you know. At this point, they're telling me, you know. Recovery comes first, you know what I mean? That's that's your main focus, you know what I mean? And then you get an opportunity to like skate for girl in the kind. I'm like thinking, but this should be my main, you know what I mean? This should be number one because this is such a great opportunity. But having to put the recovery first was really hard. And I think just like with everything with staying clean, was like um, I just feared life so much and like to get on like to take on like to do a skateboarding thing, which just added to so much fear. But I think that kind of I don't know, I think it, I kind of drove off that fear a little bit. I must have, you know what I mean? There was a little bit of like a transition, for like a generational transition, I think, at that time where there were younger kids coming up who, di who didn't really know who he was, you know what I mean? Up to the point where this video came out, like, I'd read stuff on the internet where people were just like, you know, there was always these, the fights between like the older kids and the, and the newer kids. Like, who is this guy? Why does everyone care so much about him? Like, I don't get it. What is it about him? I've seen this video part. I've seen that video part and I just don't get it. What is it? When you first got on, was it Don Mariano sort of like almost in like a weird when retirement or like hiatus or something? When I got on, I think Guy just started coming back. I remember seeing him at Girl. I didn't even recognize him. We saw my girl like picking out boards or whatever, and I was just I was picking out boards also, and I like basically just like walked right by him. I didn't even notice. I, I'm like, oh, he probably works at the warehouse or something. And then fucking like, maybe like the next day, Vince is like, guy was at girl yesterday. I'm like, really? Like that was him. I thought he like worked at the fucking at girl or something. I I never even met guy around. I maybe once or something, but barely. Uh huh. And he's like, you know, I'm not one of those guys that can just not skate for a while and then just suddenly skate and be like the best. And then I'm thinking like, wait, no, you are. That's that's what like it, to me, that's what Guy Marino means. But dude, person that doesn't skate for like a year and then does the craziest thing ever and then goes back because that's how he was in, you know, like one clip in the Plan B video and it's like seven years ahead and yeah. then nothing. And then you know what was crazy though is when Guy first started skating again. It wasn't like everything was coming super good to him. You know, he actually, you know, if you want to call it training, he trained. Like, he was in Eric's Park every day at, like, 9 a.m., skating by himself, relearning stuff and trying to learn new stuff, you know? I remember, like, when he first started skating in, his best trick down the little rail at the girl park was a crooked grind. Or at uh, Eric's Park was a crooked grind, you know? And then look at the end, you know, he's doing 270 tail slides down rails. For Guy, it was crazy because... You know, the story as far as like, hey, you're only going to have a couple of tricks in the video. And then I told him, I'm not putting out the video until you have a part. And then he's looking like, well, I can't do it, you know. And for him, it was like he had a huge mountain to climb even to get his skating up to where he thought he'd be on par with the rest of the guys. But yet skateboarding's like, oh, it's Guy Mariano. It's the best skater in the world. Like, no problem. It's a lot more than it goes into it than like what people were thinking, you know. You, I mean, today you are, you have surpassed all of that like you have shown me like this totally different person that I didn't even think was even there as amazing as I thought you were like today to me you're just like you have completely I don't know how to put it into words but I don't know you're just that much more amazing that I, I was not even expecting <laughs> Like, I always look at his career and think, like, that's, like, a, that's like if I could choose a career, it'd be his. Because it's, like, you have, like, the, the, the legendary video part when you're a kid. Then you have the, the legendary video part when you're, like, in your mid-20s. Then you, you know, you have your legendary video part when you're 30. I just think it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? I mean, 
whatever cards were dealt and whatever he's gone through, it worked out to be, in my eyes, like kind of sick. You know what I mean? Like three stages of guy so far. You know, and who knows what's next. Okay, right now we're at the Jefferson Bank to Curb. It's extremely hard to skate. It looks fun in photos. It sucks in real life. I had a photo of this trick here coming out for a girl ad, but I never made it. So today I have to make it before the ad comes out. This is something that's happened with me before. I try not to let it happen too much. Guy, he really shocked me. He really inspired me, dude, in somehow. You know, like we have a phrase, I don't know if it's like, if I can really translate in English, but it's like, uh, the strong are not the one they never fall, but the one that they, they fall and then they can get up to fight again. So, you know, when you really reach the bottom and you stand up, you really appreciate what you fucking have. The last video part he had right now is the Lakai video part. And before that, it was mouse, but dude, like, <laughs> I dude, they're the same level. Mouse is like a legendary video part, but I think that like a fully flared guy's in video part, like if we're watching in 10 years, it will still be, you know, it's like, wow. You know, I, 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 I never seen like other people <laughs> didn't like the same thing. He comes out with us filming even if he's not skating and that's insane. It's insane in a good way, you know, because like, you know, he sparked people just showing at the spot with the rest of the team. You know, right now we're filming the chocolate and he had a surgery of the ankle. So like for a little bit, it's not like 100% back with the ankle. So it's like maybe 60% still, you know, it's coming out with us. I was on like their last, I was on Lakai's last US tour and it was gnarly. Like, I think like when I first started shooting Guy, those first few sequences that he did, like fakey alley, fakey 5 -oh, half cab flip, you know, like fakey big spin flip over the picnic table, like switch pivot fakey on that bank to curb around the corner from Dorsey. Like, I was like, wow, he's fucking back. Like he's back and he's skating. But then that last trip, like, I mean, Guy did some amazing ass shit. He was doing, he did that nose blunt, fucking Kuza flip, fucking heel flip, shove it. We were calling it a Kuza flip. I mean, I was like, he's gonna have such an epic part, you know? We went to the Lakai premiere together. You were so nervous. I was nervous. He was so nervous. <laughs> I didn't even get to enjoy it because I was nervous. And then as soon as it finished, he like beelined out of there. I was like... What, what were you afraid? You were afraid people like didn't really like it or were going to pretend to like it? And no, I just like, you know... I don't know. Oh, he it? thought... Don't front. He thought that was like the end of his like career as, as he knew it. Like he just... He felt that that was it. He you would always talk about how, you know... The, your video part was, was going to be horrible. You were going to... I mean, I shouldn't even be saying this. That's all right. Go for it. You were talking about it being a Michael Jordan comeback. You were like... This the last life. one where he didn't come back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, even in his, in his skating, when I first saw that fully flared video, that's like one thing that stood